So hi guys, welcome back. Um, if you like this video, make sure that you thumb up, subscribe and leave a comment. Don't be shy. Okay. And um, give me um, a comment if you like My baby hairs, my edges My baby hairs, my edges Okay, I haven't added, uh, I haven't added any gel or any edge control I just literally had a shower and I wet my edges with water and that's it So um, yeah, they're gonna like dry and like kink up soon So I'll just like put them into like the body of the hair so this video is basically a part two of the Spock app that I did a few years ago. I've been getting some new comments on that video. Um, I thought I explained everything like, you know, in depth on that video, but clearly I haven't. Um, again, this is not a sponsored video. I have chosen not to contact the company for an affiliate link. I have chosen not to even investigate if they have an affiliate link. I am not being paid for this video. It's my own choice. I will, I am, I have my own autonomy. I can choose whether or not I want to be paid for something. And normally people believe you more when you are not being paid to promote something. So again, I am not being paid to say this. I have chosen not to investigate if it's possible to be paid for it because old school, I like to just do things, you know, like whenever I want to. You know what I mean? So yeah. On the spot, sorry guys, I just had to say that because it's like some, you know, if you want to be paid for something, do it and get paid. If you just want to do it out of the kindness of your own heart and honesty, then do it out of the kindness of your own heart and honesty. So with this app, it actually works. I'm in Spain now and I was when I first downloaded it when I was in the UK. So it still works in Spain. I don't know if it works in America, I think it's just a European app. It asks you to put your address in and then it doesn't show your exact address, it just shows your neighbourhood, okay? So your, your precise address is private. I didn't even put my real address in the app, you know. I just put like the next road or something like that. Okay, so if, you, if you're trying to sell something, common sense would tell you that, you know, you either go to the person's house or the person comes to your house if you have security issues like you're a single mother or you're disabled or whatever you have other sort of issues where you're you're in fear of your safety and your life then you can meet somebody in a public place so you have like a coffee shop um you know whatever what have you when i use the app um i ever met the person in the street or at a coffee shop or I just allowed them to come to my house. I went downstairs with the item and I, you know, I made the transaction outside the house, you know, in, in the street, in front of the neighbours, you know, people are always spying and, and, and being nosy, etc. like that. So, you know, if you know your neighbours, um, you can say, oh, um, someone's coming to collect something. Would you mind um, keeping an eye out or blah, blah, blah. Like there's so many different ways you can keep yourself safe when you are meeting a stranger. There are very, many, many ways. There was one time where a 13 year old or someone, they did contact me about using the app and they were afraid. They weren't really afraid. They were just, they just didn't know like what to do. And I just said to them, it's better if you meet the person with an adult or you allow an adult to do the transaction for you. Obviously I wouldn't advise a teenager to be home alone waiting for a stranger to come and collect an item okay so um, yeah like I just said hopefully you know you know your neighbors you can ask one of them to keep an eye out you know when the person comes to collect the item if you're gonna if you're going to if you don't want the person to come to your house then you can arrange for them to meet you at a local store, restaurant, not restaurant, you know, a coffee shop, etc. Anything like that. You might have a post office nearby, you know, a post office, a coffee shop, DIY shop, I don't know, somewhere. Somewhere public where there's other prying eyes. You know, you don't want to meet the person down a dark alley. You know what I mean? So the app doesn't show your precise location. I had to upload another item just to refresh my, so that video up. Okay guys, this is an edit part. Um, 
So when I opened Spock on my laptop, um, I noticed that there was a section where they are accommodating the social distancing. Um, so basically, there is a there is now from was it April the nineteenth or something? There is now a free courier service um, between buyers and sellers, so it reduces the contact between those parties. So you don't actually have to go and meet the person or the person doesn't have to come to your house. The courier is the one who puts themselves in danger. <laughs> Not you. Okay, but um, yeah. So this is basically a correction. So I'm gonna decide whether or not I'm going to delete that part about meeting people in public. I mean, I could just leave that part because obviously when the MF in quarantine lockdown is over, then what I said previously will still apply. It will apply again once this BS is over. So yeah, I think I'm gonna leave that part actually because it's gonna be valid because I'm sure the <laughs> I'm sure Spock ain't gonna be providing no free courier service once the lockdown is over. <laughs> okay. So let me just sip some tea with that part. Yeah, so when this lockdown is over, I don't think Spock will be providing that free courier service. So you better take advantage of it now. And I won't delete that other part actually. I'll keep it up. So yeah. I uploaded it like I don't know for two years ago I uploaded that video so I forgot how the app works I had to upload another item just to see what what goes on there's no international service it is a local you know in your neighborhood or even in your city it is a local buying and selling app like a garage sale like a car boot sale like a they think in America they said it's swap me I don't know that's what it is Second-hand items. Someone contacts you. You either go to them or they come to you. Simple. It's very, very simple. People, I, f I find like people always overcomplicate things. It's not that complicated. I want to buy a second-hand iPhone five. Whatever what, what the fuck. <laughs> iPhone eleven. Okay. So you might live in like I don't know. Maybe you live in the Bronx. You know. Maybe somebody lives in New Jersey. I mean, it's a bit far, but you know, you can decide to go there or they go there or you meet in the middle or whatever and you do the exchange. So it's up to you. Like if you feel scared, you know, if, if you're gonna have like the benefit of the doubt, if the person, you know, the person, I've seen stories on YouTube where people has been ripped off. Like, you know, someone paid for, what did the, did some girl, she paid for something I think it was an iPhone. She paid. She paid for an iPhone, and then like it didn't. It, the person didn't show up with it, or when she got there, they didn't answer the door. You know, there is a risk. There is a risk. Of course, there's going to be a risk. You know, so it's up to you. I think they say you know it's up to your own discernment. You know, normally the person will if you post an item, the people will comment under the item. Then you can take if you want to choose whoever you want to choose to um, purchase it. Then you can, there's an option to take the conversation into private. There is a private inbox section away from the listed item. You know, if you have a good vibe with the person, if you trust them, then you can take it to the next level and say, okay, come to my place, or if you don't mind delivering it, or let's meet up in a mutual public place. You know, common sense, guys. You don't need like a PhD, don't need to be a rocket scientist to kind of figure out these sort of things. I would give like teenagers like the benefit of the doubt because they don't have life experience to kind of use their common sense. Common sense is something that is accrued, it's not learned, okay? Life experience gives you common sense. So when I hear hardback adults coming at me, you know, whatever subject, I'm just gonna make it a general rant now, I, with any sort of inquiry or whatever, or some sort of bitching about what I've said or done, or or general how to live generally in the world, generally in the world, in everyday life, hardback adults coming at me with commonsensical things that they should have at least figured out for themselves. It's just, it's just really, really annoying because you know the answer that I have to give you is something that you should have already developed and known yourself being a big hardback fully grown adult yeah and to get that clapping sound I have the hand like this and the back of my hand and I do this so yeah this kind of, <laughs> this kind of went like to the left but um, you know the true ones that I know that they really enjoy it, so it's fine, you know, and I enjoy it too. And like I said, you know what I mean? Like, 
sometimes shit has to be said, so. So anyway, um, yes. As usual, don't forget to thumb up, subscribe, share the video because that's what helps me get to the next level of subscriber, you know what I mean? Like, and um, yeah. Purchase and sell safely and, you know, use your own discernment and common sense. You know what I mean? No, no, tell. Don't forget that part. <laughs>